Hi everybody, this is Kathleen. Welcome to my channel. Just wanted to do a quick little project that I'm working on. I thought I'd share with you. First thing I did was made this little fun snippet. This beautiful, just a bunch of beautiful ribbons and lace and trim. I thought this is so pretty. Um, this one come apart. That's pretty. And then this is the fabric. Isn't that pretty? Okay. And then I just tied on a little bit of this really sheer, pretty, pretty, pretty sheer fabric. Okay. I started working on this right now and I just thought, eh, I'm just going to turn this camera right on. <laughs> I kind of wanted to do like a little booklet. So I started layering a bunch of laces together and um, this is, I cut out this off of a um, an applique. It's this piece of an applique. I had avocado dyed this here. And then I just thought this little white piece of gauze would be good. And then this is this beautiful lace. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. But, oh, this is also, you guys see that? Okay. So what I was thinking about doing is making this like really pretty little booklet that a person can journal or they can just use it to write on. So this is kind of my thinking of doing something like this. I kind of wanted this little white piece in there because I felt it was lending itself some to back it, all this pink. See, that's what I was thinking about. So what I want to do is um, possibly put a little bit more on here. I'm just trying to think what I actually want to use. I could use some more of this, although I'm feeling like it's becoming sort of the same tones. I don't want to overdo all that same tone color. So I might start building the papers Okay, so I picked out a bunch of pretty papers that I thought we could use. And let me grab them. So I have a lot of images that I printed up from the Google site. And I just put vintage wallpapers free so you don't have to necessarily purchase kits if you can't. That's a real pretty muted tone. Um, Let's see what else there is. That's a pretty too. So muted. I might do that. See, the problem with me, I love all these colors. <laughs> I love wallpaper. I think it's so pretty. Um, isn't that gorgeous? That is a possibility too. So, okay. One quick peek and then I'll stop. Because I don't want to be too full. Stripes. Nah. I guess I could add a stripe, but I don't feel like adding a stripe. Okay, I'll pull one stripe out. Just because, ooh, I can't. That's too, <laughs> that's too bright. Ooh, isn't that gorgeous? Gosh, you guys, this really kind of reminds me of what I'm working with fabric-wise. So, I am putting together a giveaway package and this giveaway package is because I've reached a hundred subscribers and I wanted to do a giveaway like I did at my 50 subscribers so I thought every 50 I would give a gift and more details to follow let me see if I have it handy and I can just show you guys well, here it is okay so this is going to be the envelope that I made. So that reminded me, this fabric reminded me of this a little bit. Here's the back. I love this fabric. I'm so in love with this fabric. Um, so what I did with this is I decided on the fabric to pick and then I used a variety of beautiful lace and applique and some more pretty lace here. 
And then um, I made this flower out of satin ribbon, which is looks like this. This ribbon's from the 1940s, so it's a kind of cool ribbon. And then I put a little bit of, um, uh, that's what's avocado dyed. A little bit of, I think it's this right here, see? Lace. So when you open it, I just put two Velcro tabs to hold it together. It might need three, I'm not positive, depending how much I put in here. I also just went ahead and put some pretty um, neutral, um, really soft cotton lace here. So this is an actual Amazon gift bag. See, one of those padded bags. So I'm planning to fill it up with treats, and not candy treats or food treats, however, crafting treats. So I'm assuming you're gonna want it, um, uh, crafting supplies. And also I'm gonna make things to put in there too. So this will be coming up, I'm not sure how soon. I wanna say probably in July, possibly sooner. Um, I know I have a lot of um, things happening on the next couple of weekends, so it may take a little while to get it together. But I will have two winners. My sister is making a very, very spring one. She's not finished with that, otherwise I would show it to you. And um, so we'll have two winners and details will follow um, in the coming weeks. All right, so let's get back to this. So I just wanted to put this together. So I think that could be a nice contrast color. And so instead of it all being pink, right? I also like to use other paper too, not just this kind of paper. I save paper, I wanna show you. So I get, I collect paper. <laughs> um, there's just this green paper I got in a package once. When I use do crafting, I'll save my wax paper. Let's see what else I got. And then, um, whew, it's all falling down. So <clears throat> out of camera, I have all kinds of stuff. You just can't see it. <laughs> okay. I also, um, that pretty image, I like to use that on something. Maybe that, I don't know. And um, let's see. I also have just tissue paper, like that. And So I also started playing with using, you know, the kind of paper that kids use for crafting, that brownish paper. I don't even know what you call it. Um, kind of like a scribble pad paper. I also been using that too. So what I thought I could do is cut out some of these papers and put in there. I think I will go with the green, and I think I will go with, let's see. Let's do the piece of green. Let's see how, long, how big I need it. You know, I think I could get away with this right here. Ah. That's kind of a flappy. That's a little more than I need. I'm gonna trim that off. Trim that off. Okay. So now I have this paper that will go in here. I think I'll put that on the back, solid. And I do wanna use this center right here. Probably just right into here. pretty and I think what might be pretty is put you know you could do wax paper or you could also do tissue paper 
Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and use some wax paper. Let's see, I don't need it very big. I'm just going to guesstimate. As you all know, I'm not into measuring. So let's put that over that pink pretty paper. So that way it has um, some different textures. So you have like this cute little booklet here with all these different pretty papers. Though, I want to distress these little papers real quick. I was watching a video on someone how she distressed. I thought it was so cool, all the different things she did. So some of the way she distressed is she just like wrinkled corners. Um, she made with her fingers, she just kind of went along the edges to create. She did bunches. Pretty much almost destroying a paper. <laughs> she crinkled. She folded. She cut. I know before what I've done is I've used my edge of my scissors and used to make cuts. Okay. And what she also did is instead of doing this kind of a thing, she dapped it um, so that it didn't have oh, just a straight line, like only some pieces were going to get that. So I'm gonna make it like somebody pushed it back and You know, I actually wanted to do some that do have a little bit more because that's how paper is, right? Another thing I saw her do, which I really like, she got a paper clip. This is my quasi-rusted paper clip. And she made holes. As if, you know, like something happened something occurred on towards. Okay. I thought that was pretty cool. So it distressed the paper. So it didn't make it look so clean and perfect. And I like that much better making it look like it's actually something old, right? So I think I still want to go along here. Give that a little bit more of a roughed up edge just with my nail. Doesn't matter if it breaks or cuts. That's the thing I think I actually liked about doing it this way is that it kind of just made it look roughed up. See? So, there's that one. This one I want to do the same thing. Okay, so she kind of just did this. She dabbed it. Although I think, to be perfectly honest, I think my ink pad is really, I keep saying this, like, but I keep using it, right? It's really low. I actually might go ahead and do this because it's all cut, nothing's ripped up. So I might do this kind of a thing. And then I'm just going to do like a fold. And like someone folded it back. And a, a scrunch. You know those scrunches, they get color on them. And 
to get a little bit inked up. Rusted looking. Maybe not rusted, but you know. <laughs> Dark. And maybe finger scrunch. Okay. Let's see. So I have that. I have this. And then this paper is a definite. Let's get this thing looking a little bit more. I think this one would be easy to get this one looking all beat up because it's really thin. How are you guys doing? I feel like I haven't even hardly talked, huh? I've just been right at it. <laughs> um, I hope everyone's doing well. It's graduation season. A lot of graduations happening. And a lot of big milestones going on coming up on Dad's Day. I know it's tough when you don't have your dad or have a participating dad but we all know that our God in heaven is our father right so we just have to keep that in mind when we are missing having a dad in our life okay so there's that there's this and then my wax paper I'm going to put that in I think I'm going to put my wax paper possibly mm, there or there. I think I'll do it in between that and this. Okay. I feel like the only thing I'm missing so, is newsprint. Some kind of a newspaper type. I guess I don't have to always have newsprint, right? Okay. So here's my little package. I'm going to wrap it up in, so to speak. So I'm going to put that into here. Cover that up. See how that comes across. Here are the chimes going off. Kind of even this out a little bit. in the afternoon it's a Sunday so I always appreciate my Sundays I think I kind of do a lot of videos on Sunday don't I maybe I'll put that down below here okay get my cute little book working isn't that cute so what I you know what I'm going to do guys I'm actually going to staple this in right now um, I'm going to staple this because it's just going to make it easier. This. So, I have a couple of choices. I can put a rusty pin like this on here, which I really like. I also bought some black ones. I don't know if you guys ever seen the black, but I thought this was kind of cool. Uh, I got these from Amazon. Let me show you guys. It's all black. Aren't these beautiful? Look at that. Right? And it even has the tiny small ones. Pretty, huh? I wonder what these would look like rusted. So I have a choice between that or that. What do you guys think? I kind of going for the rusted. I'm kind of going for this. Kind of matches the gold look. So I am going to attempt to just tag this on. 
The thing about rusted pins, really hard to use. Um, I don't want to go through anything. They're not sharp. Look at, see the struggle I'm struggling with that right there? Yeah, I don't want to bust that. So what I'm probably going to do is pretend and put it just on something minor like this. Okay, and then, sorry, I'm putting them out of frame. And then, ugh. So that way it has a look of the safety pin, right? See? I could even put the flower behind the safety pin. However, I am going to glue this on so that way it's a little bit easier. Not a lot of glue, just a little glue. I always feel like if a person wants to disassemble things that I make and give them, they can. I'm not offended. <laughs> okay. So that's my little, isn't that beautiful? Serious, is that not beautiful? I wish I knew where I got this. I got, I think I might've got it from Notions of, Be um, Notions of, Notions of Beauty. Um, she sells occasionally the most beautiful, unusual things. I have to say, I, I can really love her things. So anyway, I wish I had more of that because I am almost out. So here's my applique. Here's that beautiful dangle trim, or lace, I should say, for sure, lace. And then I have um, a little bit of the, I don't know, gauze. <laughs> I was, guys, I was gonna say Parmesan. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. <laughs> and that really beautiful sheer polka dot. Oh, I love polka dot, look at that, Isn't that cute? Can you guys see that? And then that beautiful, beautiful lace down below. And then I put some paper. So if you want to journal, you can always journal um, on the other side of each piece of the paper or journal right on it. The other thing I thought about that you could do is actually put little images on this as well. Like I was thinking, um, like this music note, I thought it would be really cute to put something here, like a little flower or a little, like look, you could cut out like one of these little flowers and put it right there. How sweet would that be? I'm gonna try it real quick. Of course these scissors are ginormous for that, but I'm gonna give it a shot anyway. So, ah. You know, I just kinda wing it, right? Cause any which way you do it is good. Cute is that, right? You gotta ink those edges up a little bit. Okay, look at you could put that right there, which I'm going to do, by the way. Okay. Hmm. There we go. You could also decorate with some pretty washi tape would be pretty or if you really want to go out all out you could also start decorating the paper inside look how cute that would be and you can also put lace and stuff on the, in between the paper because that would be pretty to see huh like if you had some look at some lace on the side how pretty would that be maybe not necessarily this one for that but I just want to give you an idea of what I'm talking about. Let's see, there's this pretty, look how pretty this is. You could even do the bottom, not pretty. The side, which I think I would do the side. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just glue this on, shall we? 
I'm just going to put a stream of glue. Uh, okay. I like that. Makes it nice, nicer to me. I like that we did that too. You know, you could also put a little mini paper clip or a bob safety pin. Like, watch, let's get one of these um, black ones here. These little, mm, try mid size, I'm thinking. Is that too big? That might be a little big. Let's just see what that looks like. Maybe, maybe in this one, put it on that paper. Let's do it on this one. You know what, we could actually just do like a dangle, right? If we were to do this kind of a thing. I keep going off camera, you guys, I'm so sorry. My mind is so scattered today. I just cannot believe how scattered it is. Let me see if I can get this stamp. So I don't want to put it hanging from the bottom because the lace is so pretty. I don't want that to show. I think I'm just going to put it here. Okay, let me move that so I can lift the paper up. Okay, let's see if this will work. Just a little dangle of lace, randomly, because I like random. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, that's my little book for today. I'm happy with my little book. I think another thing, one other thing, wait. Hold the thought, hold the thought. Give me a minute. So, I don't know, I think I might have just got jumbo paper clips. Rusted. Bummer. Um, you know, it'd be really cute too, is just like putting a paper clip in here, like that. Um, maybe ooh, a little piece of um, newsprint or let's see, a book would be nice. This little book, I love this. Isn't that cute? You can just ooh, ah, ooh, look how cute that is. Okay, you could just um, get some of this, right? Cause this is so frail, this paper it is totally cool. That's too big. Too big. Of course, uh, you want to get a little bit of a, though the book is vintage itself, <laughs> it doesn't really need much. Isn't that cute? You could even put a little piece of something on there, a little piece of lace, or I could just keep going on forever, right? Oh, no, that doesn't work. Okay. You could even do another piece of paper. Oh, what happened? What would it be like to, you know, just that um, that flower I just printed out, right? Kind of cute, huh? Look at, yay! I like that. Happy, happy. Different. Okay, so that's the book. So it's the applique, it's the lace, with the dangle. Hold on, let me get that dangle down. The dangle, the gauze. I turned that into a booklet. So when a person gets it, if they want to put it in their journal, they can just look through it, write on the back if they want, or just add their own little pictures or their own images if they like to. There you go.
You know what would also be really cute? is a little fashion picture. If I had one handy, I'd stick it in there. You know, like a vintage grill or something. Wouldn't that be cute? I probably would do that more than I would do a flower under there. I had some. Hold on. Let me see if I kept them handy. No, I didn't. Oh, well. What, what? Oh, my God. Nope, 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 nope. But you could even do, like, do this kind of a bigger card or something. I don't know. Anyway. So, you guys, that's it. That's my video for today. I hope that you enjoyed that. And I hope that you will make your own little fabric snippets with um, different pretty laces and trims that you favor. And then just maybe create a little book like I did. Just with different fun paper and things that you like. Let me put it that way. All right, you guys, I hope you have a wonderful afternoon, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.